Start has set them free from the 2,000 metre marker. Towards the inside, just cruised in. Icy Avalanche is right there, and Klaus Mundial is going to be in search of the lead. They are followed by Chrome Blue. Towards the inside, Priceless Gem forever. Then comes Viking Red. Night Circus is second to last, and the trailer is Kelly's King, and that's racing about nine or ten lengths off the leader. Icy Avalanche now takes them along at a solid pace. Just cruised in, Klaus Mundial on the outside. Forever's back in fourth, in comes Chrome Blue. They're followed further back by Viking Red. It's got about seven lengths to track down Priceless Gem. Then Night Circus and Kelly's King's the trailer. It's about ten lengths off the leader. I see Avalanche by three. Klaus Mundial just cruised in in the green at the rail. Forever and Chrome Blue, then Viking Red, Priceless Gem. Night Circus, the Blue Silks are second to last, seven or eight lengths off the leader. And at the back of the field, Cali Skiing. I see Avalanche continues to go by three. Class Mundial just cruised in at the rail. Chrome Blue's back in fourth, then Forever. Viking Red, then Priceless Gem. Night Circus got about eight or nine lengths to make up as that leader has gone four lengths in front, I see Avalanche. Now they move to the 600 and I see Avalanche by four. Just cruised in, Class Mundial, Chrome Blue's coming around them. Then Viking Red, Priceless Gem, as for Night Circus, got nine or ten lengths to make up. Top of the lane and still Icy Avalanche, Class Mundial, Chrome Blue, Viking Red. Night Circus is under big pressure. Icy Avalanche still going though. Just cruised in, Chrome Blue on the outside, then Class Mundial. Icy Avalanche continue on over the last hundred is getting wary. Chrome Blue, Night Circus taking off. Icy Avalanche is looking for the line but is going to just win it. Second Chrome Blue, Night Circus and just cruised in. Number eight, I see Avalanche. Didn't stick around. The five-year-old son of Western Winter for Tony Nassif, owned by the Nassifs, and for Patricia Divine Investments. And Muzi Yeni allowed him to stride. And they went very good clip up front and at the top of the stretch, pinched that three or four lens and will last long enough from second, number two, Chrome Blue. So I see Avalanche, his third win from 44 outings, pays up 12.20 and 2.50. Second to Chrome Blue, Night Circus made up the 9 or 10 lengths, then just cruised in, Class Mundial, followed by Forever. We'll take a look at that head-on shortly, then Viking Red. Toad favourite, number one, a hot favourite at that, at 1 round 40. And here's Icy Avalanche continuing on, just cruised in, Chrome Blue and Night Circus towards the outside. But Icy Avalanche gets the skip at the right time and ends up winning it by about a half length or so. Until the running of our eighth and uh, seventh, rather, our seventh and last, back to the studio. Just seen RC Avalanche do it again. He's come back to KZN for the Tony Nassif stable. When you saw this race, we saw him win last time he came here. You must have said, let's take our chances. Yeah, we've got to take our chances. And I think he likes us, Polly. And, um, you know, he's run twice. He's run, actually, he's won three on the Polly. So, and um, so I'm sure he enjoys it. And his last run wasn't bad. He raced three wide the whole way. And he still ran four lengths off them. And it wasn't a bad field. So, you know, and, and this horse seems to be that he's improving, he's filling out now, he's getting like a, nice, a strong horse. And also I want to thank uh, Mark, Jerome, Kevin, and, and all the guys at the George for, for yeah, they have those nice cold beers there. <laughs> so, um, so I wish them all, I hope they got a few rand on it. Well, it's always good to see you in town. We always take notice. I mentioned on this morning's show, the first call show, so when Tony Naps is in town, you've got to certainly respect it, and you've hit the bullseye. Yeah, well, you know, it's, you know, we've got to take our chances wherever we go, you know, we're limited with our horses. And, um, and Moosey, thanks to Moosey, he rode a good race. He worked the horse the other day, he was quite happy with it. 
So it showed us, so all those pluses were there, you know, so it just worked out. Well done. And also to, also, also to my grandkids in, in Joburg, all, all the best to them. Super. Thanks. Let's get Muzi Yeni into the picture, bringing home RC Avalanche. It'll be his third career victory. You weren't going to stick around? Yes, you know, I'm very lucky I uh, can ride 52. And obviously I've got enough experience. So <laughs> if you're at 52 and you can have it all your own way, it makes a big difference. And I think I'm a good advantage with other top riders. I can get away with much more. <laughs> Now take us through the last 400 metres, you allowed him to skip, did you think he had enough in the tank? Not, uh, you know, I wasn't really, I was really concerned because I don't know if you saw the first thousand metres, he hadn't settled, he was doing it quite hard with me, I had to use my weight to keep him back, but uh, I gave him a breather when I could and I decided also, I, I took him on a sprint up in Joburg and I felt he's a little bit one pace, so I had to try get a bit of a break on them. But I waited for him and at the 200 I thought, okay now boy, just give me a little bit more and uh, it was courageous when I don't think he'll be stopping here. And he seems to love the poly, his rating is nice and low, he's got a lot of heart, so I think there's more in the tank. You've said it all, enjoy. Thank you very much, well done to Mr Nassif, you know, you know when trainers give you confidence, you also can give 110% and just glad to reward him with the winner and to winning form a huge thank you. Muzi Yeni, Tony Nassif, number eight, RC Avalanche. Catch me if you can. Tactics, catch him. They could not do.